this is Miss Prosperous, and thank you guys for um, tuning in with me today. I'm doing a tutorial to show you guys how to do sublimation on a canvas. Here's my sublimation print. This is just an um, uh, image that I love. Um, God goes grind, and then I have one of my favorite lady images, which I purchased off of Feathers of Style on Etsy. And got the wording from somewhere I just added it to the image here's a canvas which is an 11 by 14 of course I know this is huge um, but I want the canvas to be larger than the picture so that is why I got this size and I get those from Dollar Tree for a dollar I have my laminating paper which is eight and a half by 11 um, of course you can get laminating paper from Walmart like 50 sheets for about five or six dollars so I have my sublimation print, I have my canvas, and I have my laminating paper, and then I have my heating tape, which is gonna take my sublimation um, print onto the canvas once I get ready to add the um, print. So I take my canvas, put it on the heat press. My heat press is set to 400, and I'm gonna press it, I'm gonna preheat it for about five seconds. Well, no, I'm gonna do the laminating paper. Sorry, I'm moving too fast, you guys. I'm gonna do the laminating paper on here first, and I'm gonna press it for about five seconds, maybe. This is my Teflon sheet. So I'm gonna, this is just preheating it before I add the design. So I press it for about five seconds. Like I say, um, heat is 400 degree. That's five seconds. And as you notice, now I have the laminating paper on the canvas. Sorry, my daughter is trying to talk to me as well. I have my laminating sheet already um, melted to the canvas. Now I'm gonna take my print because my print goes on top of the laminating sheet. She was trying to remind me that I didn't put my print down, so that's what had me a little distracted, but now she realizes why I didn't put my print down first. So I have my print down. I'm gonna add some heating tape. Hmm, okay. And all it takes is about um, two, little, two little pieces, to, or three, just to kind of hold it in place. So I have that taped down, placing it back on the heat press, Teflon sheet, and I'm gonna keep it on there 400 degrees, about 20 to 25 seconds. I think 20 seconds would be good. So we're gonna see that really quick. So I'm sorry you guys, I have been like MIA from doing tutorials for a while because I've been super busy, but I'm back on it. I am back working from home. So I have more time to do tutorials. Okay, let me look, make sure I got my color. I'm gonna do it just a little, five, maybe five. Nine. You have to make sure that you're adding the pressure. Um, I have to make sure that I'm adding the pressure because it is a canvas. So, we're going to see how this turned out. I should have gave it a little more pressure, but we're going to see how it turns out, which I think it'll turn out good. Oh, my God. You guys, she turned out absolutely gorgeous. Here is the canvas. She is glossy, glossy. Her color is absolutely gorgeous. It's popping. So you guys, just to um, recap, you take the sublimation print, which was an eight by, eight by 10, eight by 10, and then this canvas is 11 by 14, which I got from Dollar Tree, a sheet of laminating paper, and your heating tape, and a heat press, and that's all you need to get these beautiful images on a canvas. And the funny thing about this, I have this image 
on a few things. So I'm gonna put this down. Then I'm gonna show you guys that I have the shirt with that image on, I mean the tote bag with that image and also, I love that image you guys. So another tote bag with it. And then here is a shirt with that image. So I absolutely love that image. So this um, lady, she's getting the canvas, the shirt and the tote bag. So thank you guys for joining me. And like I said, I will be coming on more often to um, do tutorials because I absolutely miss, miss creating. This is truly my atmosphere. It's what I love to do. And I am here to help you guys step out and start doing what you love to do. So thank you for joining Miss Prosperous. And I hope you guys have a blessed and prosperous day. And stay tuned. Put those notifications on because I will be doing more tutorials. Thank you. Bye.